Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. are on their way Forever's our own they'll stay Proud and days are on their way Chasing sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Take my hand, don't be afraid These brighter days are on their way Guess where I am? I'm at McDonald's So he's wanted chicken nuggets but it's only quarter past ten so I can't get him any um, But I've nipped to get I've just got myself a little breakfast bun because I had to nip out and get a C to C cable for my phone Hello. Thank you, thank you so much because it had stopped working. So they put McDonald's right next door and unfortunately the rules are that you have to go, you have to pop in. You literally are not allowed out of the car park until you've gone through the McDonald's drive-through. There's me saying, I there's me saying I was going to be good. <laughs> uh, I don't even know why I ever say it. Although I have been good. Hilarious, isn't it? Us women. I don't know if men are the same. I think they are. Right, I've got my phone charging cable. Susie feels much better this morning. She's been keeping on top of the painkillers and she loved her little toy that I got her. I'm gonna, when I get back, I'll get a little clip so you can see the little cauldron toy. Yeah, she loved it. So today's gonna be a brighter day. It will be. I'll see you all when I get back, hopefully. Right then everybody, a lot of you wanted to know the little toy that I got Sue's and she did love it. So you get the little cauldron and then he poured water in it and then this little guy, this little guy appeared. Ah, can't do it with one hand. This little guy appeared and then it comes with a magic wand and you put it where do you put the magic wand, Suze? You need to flick his tail off furry. And then it the is top of the wand to his forehead. Oh, to his forehead, silly me. I can't do it. Why can't I do this? Am I being stupid? Right, give me a second. I think I've got it, bear with, bear with. You put the wand to his, why aren't you working for me? It does work, I've just done it. And his tail comes out. Ah, uh, that was the worst show and tell ever. But Sue's enjoyed it. And he's doing a little handstand with his little furry tail. Oh, and he's got some little bits in there as well. But yeah, we just like silly things like that. I'm glad that you, some of you look like it as well. You said you went and bought toys or had toys bought for you that you loved when you were kids. Just a bit of fun. Look what Susie's and my friend Gemma bought. 
Oh my gosh, look at how absolutely stunning that is. Is that the sweet one? Yeah, and there's a off. oh my god, Suze, you open that one. Do you want this one? I'm looking at what's underneath. Has that got to what happened? I'd heard of it, I'd been to Mama Doreen's in Harrogate I've never heard for it. a couple of baby showers. Oh, oh, Suze has been, yeah, she's been in pain in the really quite sick so hopefully oh, so much yesterday. it was horrible oh. immediately after you'd taken your blooming took all meds. my meds and my anti-sickness and then just spewed the whole lot up. oh it's so been awful just not touch it, I guess. Well, uh, it was it just, just other stuff accidents. yeah just have it it. To spew it. oh gem this is from Gemma and math oh it's just looks so mm. yummy mm. we purposely didn't eat a lot <laughs> Well, me. Look at the sweetie ones. Oh, oh, look at how lovely that is. Oh, you're so kind. That is mm -mm. Oh, oh, you can always you. keep. I'm sure they'll keep for a bit, won't they? Yeah, we can put it in the right, we this one? Uh, mm. fridge, can't yeah, we? Yeah, let's do. Yeah. It, does full, it is filling sort of stuff. Mm. I think it looks good. Well, you can save that. You can save that. Are you taking pictures from our... I will take some photos, yeah. What do you fancy when you fancy it? Which one do you want? And I'll save it for you. My first it. time eating a flower. <laughs> I'll have the scone and you can pick any. Do you want it now? Mm. Or save it. No, I'll save it. Thank you. Is that nice, Em? Oh, Gemma's just gone, hasn't she? And we had such a lovely catch up. But even with Gem sharing, we couldn't get through all of the yummy, yummy food. So, yeah, that was Mama. Mama Doreen's Emporium and they've got one in Harrogate and they've got one in York and Gem's just been to the one in York but that we're saving all that for Midnight Feast mm. that's my tummy rumbling so so much for being good with the food front <laughs> first and then the jam that's my way of doing it I think that's the wrong way and in the traditional Cornish way but what do you have on first clotted cream and then jam or jam then clotted cream on your scone <laughs> heating off in the car but this is blooming freezing um yeah it's been a bit of a weird bit of a weird couple of days um susie has been quite sick and she takes the anti-sickness and then sicks it up again so um that's quite difficult yeah she's been quite sick and then she really, really, really tried her best, bless her, to perk up for when her friend from school, one of her best friends from school came round today with the afternoon tea from Mama Doreen's Emporium in Vanguard in York. And they brought, well, it's from Marth, from Helen, what we call her Marth, from Marth and Gemma. Um, they went halves and treated Suze to an afternoon tea and me and Gemma was able to stay um, and join it in and eat it with us as well and I've just put what we didn't finish in the fridge for Susie for later so that was lovely uh, Jason's just been and left Suze was quite sleepy through that but she did she did perk up again before we left and uh, I just I just wonder why the, the human body can do 
so I mean why why I just wish it wouldn't make her so sick I wish it wouldn't make her so sick um again reiterating the fact that she doesn't want the syringe driver um and believe me we've we've tried to have the conversation to and she knows she's she's an educated woman she knows but it's the only control she's got left it's the only control that she has left in her life is when she takes a medication so she's she's grasping onto it the um doctor came round tuesday and Susan actually said she didn't want a um, pain review but they did come round and they have given her another patch so she's now got two don't ask me the strength I, I don't know pretty high it's really high um, and there's an, a slow another slow release on that will hopefully keep her ticking over so these crescendos of pain don't keep coming and um, they're not they're not all the time they're just I think it goes with her body's there's a cycle and it hurts more at certain times in that cycle which is really weird but I think it might be to do with um, possible eating and digestion factors but the pain is sort of everywhere um, she must have lost another I think they're going to weigh her again soon Take, they've took some bloods because um, they like to monitor the weight and bloods and things like that she's on more antibiotics they came today um, just keep that ticking over to stop the infection that comes out of the leg catheter bag the urinary catheter bag uh, so yeah the antibiotics are, are carrying on the pain patch is now on and hopefully that will just keep ticking over to keep her as comfortable as we can. I spoke to Jo, she's got a car back out the garage and I've um, video called her today and she seems great upbeat dressed hair done and she seemed she seemed good and she said that hopefully one day next week again it's a military operation lots of things have to align and be okay with mum and Suze and Joe and the vehicles and the meds and how ill everybody is or how well everybody is to be able to get mum to see Sue's. It'll be it'll be a military operation to get all the everything ready and then be able to actually get her into a chair and then into the vehicle and get her to Sue's. Anyway hopefully next week that will happen. And hopefully it won't be it won't be too sad for everybody. You see, what, you, what you've got to realise is, you know, mum, they, they probably do want to see each other, but the more, the more you're sort of apart, and then when you know it's going to end, the sometimes out of sight, out of mind, I, I sometimes think that mum and Sue's both think that, sometimes and that they don't sometimes want to see each other in case it's too hard to then say goodbye you know I know some of you get that some of you completely don't get that but I see it and I see the pain you know Suze can't have Pepper come to see her because the excruciating heart ripping out pain of having to say goodbye to a beautiful little doggy again when they've been apart for what since January the 5th now Susie's like I'm okay with it 
I know that she's safe and happy and loved and she gets photos and videos and Jason tells her stories every day of what she's been up to and what she's doing and sometimes I mean that's heart wrenching but to have her come in and then have to say goodbye to her she won't want to let her go these are things I've never thought of or never thought somebody would do or never thought I would do never thought Suze would do but until that it's such an individual thing for people death, dying one person will go out and want to do the whole bucket list and see as many people as they can and and some people I mean me and Sue's are massive empaths and to see other people hurting hurts us incredibly so sometimes it's best for Sue's not to see other people hurting or to have to to say those goodbyes over and over again because that's what she said you know when she sees people now she doesn't know if that actually will be the last time that she sees them and that that is incomprehensible to me but it's made me think about a lot of things uh, I'm thinking of um, I've got my phoenix on my hand I'm thinking of Susie's got her Thai bamboo bird which is knock knock in a uh, bird in Thai is knock and that's her Thai name and our Thai friends gave me the Thai name ploy which is gem because I worked with gems and loved bling so my Thai name is ploy so knock and ploy is bird and gem and Sue said I could have a little bird on my hand as well so that would be to symbolise Sue's and I might get a little diamond or a gem and I also think I might want a word something really simple like think or you have a choice or remember something that will make me always just think and not forget what really matters So that might be happening at some point in the future. A friend of mine is actually um, put out on Instagram that she wanted 10 models for free tattoos. She does the little line tattoos. So dropped her a message. Jason also wanted his fingers doing and he wanted Susie's initials on that finger, the ring finger, um, and some other little bits. He loves his animals and he loves Molly and Pepper, Molly that they lost and then Pepper the dog so he wants a little paw print, little things like that. So maybe, maybe we'll get to be her little guinea pigs and get a little tattoo maybe. But other than that, um, I'm planning to go home on Saturday for just a matter of hours again, not overnight and um, see Ash and the babies and then drive back to Sue's I'm not I'm not burning out guys I'm just doing what I'm doing I'm obviously busy during the day with helping Sue's changing beds anything anything she wants I'm there but it's more the fact I just I don't want to leave her side I'm very grateful that I can stay with her. I'm very grateful for everybody's help. I'm very grateful for everything. I'm very grateful for everything. Because I know that I... I might not have been able to have this chance to... to stay with her. And I, wouldn't, I couldn't forgive myself if I wasn't there if she needed me I know if, if, it, if it happened to me I would never want to be on my own 
Oh, I wouldn't want to be away from my identical twin sister, that's for sure. <sighs> I suppose I'd better go back in. She was sleeping, so I've just popped out. Popped out to have a chat with you guys. Probably going to sit and watch YouTube, see what Suze wants to watch. Might be something that we can watch um, on telly together. What day is it? I don't know, I don't know why I asked that question. I have no idea. Um, and I'll see if Suze wants the rest of the afternoon tea. She struggles a little bit with the sweet things, but she might want something. But yeah, thank you all for being there. I'm sorry there's nothing, there's no trips out or anything really exciting to show you. Um, Sue said I should travel up to Mother Shipton's cave, which I'd love to do, but she said it's a bit creepy, so to not go on my own. <laughs> but that would be interesting to film. But again, the, the weather's the weather's very windy, rainy, a bit cold. So me and Sue's just cocooning ourselves up and forgetting the rest of the world at the moment. And please, everybody, hope and pray that she's not sick tonight and that we get a nice sleep so that we can be refreshed tomorrow she's so tired today from being sick all yesterday okay love you guys heading up the west coast in the morning to find a place but no one knows our faces or our names Don't leave now, we might never make it out alive Plans are changing, rearranging all the time So come away with me Let's break free